Hello, welcome to this Bobby fucking De Niro over here edition of Hillbilly DVD Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the Blu-ray of Ronin. Ronin is an action fucking espionage fucking car chase thriller from 1998 directed by legendary director fucking John Frankenheimer. This guy, man, going way back to the fucking glory days of Hollywood, man, directing movies. Like fucking Birdman and Alcatraz and Manchurian Candidate, all kinds of shit. Directing movies through the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, a little bit in 2000s before he unfortunately died in 2002. The movie co-stars fucking John Renault, fucking international Frenchman action, fucking whatever, extraordinaire. Fucking Natasha McAhone or however the fuck you say her name. Jonathan Price, English fucker, pretending to be Irish in this movie. Just a whole bunch of fuckers you've seen other movies before all coming together for a good international cast. And that's the thing, even though it's coming from an American director, the movie takes place in France. It's very international. You would have thought this was like a foreign movie, you know, just the way they filmed it and shit. It has a very uh, slow, deliberate pace. It's like a two-hour movie. And honestly, there's really only about 90 minutes of story, but they really stretch it out intentionally now. To give it that old, it really has an old 70s feel. It's not in a rush to get anywhere. You know, yeah, it's a bunch of guys on a job doing a job, fucking rip some fuckers off, get a briefcase. But it takes its time getting there. You get to know all the members of the team and shit. Fucking all kinds of scenes of fucking Bobby De Niro fucking coming in the room all leisurely looking around. You know, he's always got like his mind working, you know, watching everybody, make sure shit doesn't about to go down. And I don't know why, but he's always making like stale ass coffee and he's always eating fucking sandwiches, standing around eating sandwiches that are like just, you know, like the ones you get at the gas station and shit. I don't, I don't know why, you know, being it's supposed to be a badass career criminal, why he always wants to eat gas station sandwiches. But hey, it's Bobby fucking De Niro. Basically, the story is, is there's a briefcase like tied to a fucker's arm, like real old school 60s, 70s type bullshit, you know. And they have to go and they have to hit him, they do all the recon. It's basically a heist movie. They plot it all out. They fucking, you know, find out where the guy's gonna be and shit, all his security and detail. You're gonna love it if you're Robert Nero fan. That's why I love this movie. I have to admit, you know, when I saw it, I was younger. I fucking, you know, I just took it for granted that Robert De Niro would be around forever playing a badass. But I think this is his last badass role, pretty much, you know, before he became, you know, the grandpa, comedic, whatever, meet the parents. You know, I could go into the plot, but it's just fuckers going back and forth. The briefcase gets stolen, you get stolen back, double crosses and shit. Lots of great fucking shootouts. Bobby fucking D really works out on some machine guns in this one. Kills a lot of motherfuckers. There's two big car chases. Well, yeah, two. I don't know why I did this. This means four. There's two big car chases in the movie. I mean, fucking over in these like, expressways and shit and France and stuff. And, and fuckers going through and flipping cars. There's semi cars. You won't believe how many cars they wreck in this fucking movie, man. And it's really impressive knowing that, yeah, it's 1998 shit. And it's directed by an old school director. So he had these fuckers doing it for real. No CGI bullshit. So as a movie, just being your kind of typical caper, fucking shoot 'em up, whatever, you know, but really getting elevated by a legendary director and fucking one of the last good fucking, you know, fucking Bobby De Niro, he's like impersonating himself in this shit, you know, you're going to fucking love it if you're a Bobby D fan. Just a lot of fucking fun. I'm going to go ahead and give Ronan fucking seven and a half out of ten. It don't reinvent the wheel, but it gives a fucking glimpse back to like the old school fucking action thrillers and shit. I, I liked it a lot. Picture and sound, this being fucking whatever, MGM fucking Blu-ray, man, the specs on this shit are not very good at all. Fucking older disc, it does have, you know, the English DTS HD Master Audio, the audio was fucking good for a fucking 90s movie, you know, it, it had a good soundtrack surround and shit, you know, maybe not quite what you see on fucking Battleship of the Day or shit, but for a fucking, you know, a movie from the 90s, it was good, but they kind of like do this half ass man. On a picture, it, like this is the old MPEG-2 format at 18 megabits. Like, come on, that shit is just not going to cut it. This need to be on a BD-50 with a higher bit rate. And I don't know if it's because they used the old transfer, or maybe it just was director style, but it's very soft looking and film like, which I don't mind too much, but again, like, you know, did they just fucking want to shit this thing out and, like, fucking not put a lot of effort into it? Or was this, a, you know, the the way the director wanted to be just, like, all filmic and old looking like the 70s? Uh, maybe, maybe not, but it's hard to tell because fucking John Frankenheimer died fucking 11 years ago. Picture and sound. Sound being pretty decent. Fucking picture being kind of, you know, just kind of fucking there or whatever. But it still didn't really shit the bed too bad. I'm going to get Ronan on picture and sound. On a Blu-ray standard, I'm going to have to give it fucking 6.5 out of 10. Alright, special features. This this is where they shit the bed and they didn't even wipe their ass and stuff. They just shit and fucking, like a dog just scooted across the fucking floor and shit. Special features, theatrical trailer. Oh, yeah, maybe they didn't want to do the, but here's the thing. 
Fucking the DVD was special edition. Had commentary from John Frank Heimerish. All this shit, man. Man, fucking John Frank Heimerish is dead. He's a legendary director. And you had a commentary from the DVD and you didn't put it on here. Why? Because maybe you want to double dip later and do some bullshit. Fuck that. Special features, only theatrical trailer. Motherfuckers rub me the wrong way. Special features can only give it 1 out of 10. Alright, that's it for the fucking Bobby D coverage for today. Just a real quick update on fucking one of the last videos that I did a DVD, the blue unboxing shit, Warner Brothers. And I was talking all this shit. Fucking, oh, I got fucking 10 movies for $50, $5 each and shit. But if you watch the unboxing real closely, fucking, I pulled nine movies out of the box. I was so fucking drunk and shit off of fucking having them movies and shit. I forgot they shorted me one. What was the movie they shorted me? Fucking Magnolia, fucking P.T. Anderson, fucking Tom Cruise. I had to get this fucking movie to see Tom Cruise go off the chain and shit again. I love this movie. Respect the cock. And tame the cunt. But yeah, the fucker shorted me, so I, I sent an email. I told him, I, don't make me come down and kick you motherfuckers up the ass at the WB shop. So they got the shit out to the mail to me. So yeah, I can't wait to see my fucking Blu-ray copy of Magnolia and shit. Hey, fuckers got it to me better late than ever, I guess. That's right. Tame it. Ha!